Hello again, Monsketeers, and welcome back to another Radnorock Vlogentary. Today, we're hanging out at uh, Disneyland. We're going to go on the Mad Tea Party teacups. Something that had been a dream of my wife's is to ride the teacups outdoors. <laughs> I kind of feel like the teacups at Magic Kingdom are still outdoors. They just kind of they just have a a roof over it, kind of like under a an awning, a tent. Not an awning. His tent is as a tent canopy. I don't know what you would call it. But Disneyland, Disneyland, you're just out right out there in the open. And we wanted to ride it again at night, but you know, time got away from us. Exhaustion set in. Look at our little baby Maverick. Uh. We will though. It's still on our our must must do's for Disneyland. But you know what? It's still fun during the day. Banny boy. You see Maverick shaking his head like a psycho. Bump bump. Bump 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 bump. So I take great pride in my ability to spin the teacup so fast that you feel like you're going back in time. Or maybe forward in time. Time traveling. There's really no control over which way you go. Forward or back. Well, I guess it just depends on which way you spin the teacup, huh? If you spin the teacup clockwise, you're liable to go into the future. But if you spin it counterclockwise, you're venturing into the past. Now, there's a lot of physics that goes into that explanation. And look, we don't have time. This is not a long, long video. So we don't have time to get into all the, the minutia of teacup time travel. But understand that it's a thing. And appreciate my ability to make it happen. So in order to make that happen, uh, I clearly am not able to do the video myself. So I hired Ryland to hold the camera. I haven't watched this back yet. Let's see, let's see if he nailed it. Look at that beard. I don't have that beard anymore. And I have way more hair at the time of the recording the voiceover. <laughs> and look at that. That's an unfortunate piece of hair hanging off the side right there. Oh yeah, I got tattoos on my head. I haven't seen those in a while. Pretty good panning on the kid's part. Oh, Mavi. Mavi was not feeling the best that day. Our poor sweet boy. Um, didn't, didn't spin the teacup as quickly as I normally would have. Uh, just because we were all in it. I didn't want to wreck Maverick's world. If it was just the boys and I... I, I would have gone much faster, but <laughs> we're going fast enough for Bane to enjoy it. Look at that. Actually, we are going pretty fast. I'm kind of getting dizzy watching this. Can watching a video make a look at it? You see Bane kicking his feet up. A nut job. Look at my wife holding the baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see, now now we're going back in time. Look at the arrows on the wheel. I sent us forward in time, and now we got to make up for the time progressed. Just to even things out. Now oh, there we go. Uh, the thing about changing direction is the regaining of momentum. Like, it's real easy to gain momentum at the beginning of the ride, but when you try to, like change course halfway through it uh takes a lot more oomph you know what i mean i'm pretty glad i shaved that beard though look how old it makes me look look at all that gray let's see yeah, see, my wife is not. <laughs> she's she 
I feel like she's impressed of my teacup capabilities, but she doesn't want to experience them herself. <laughs> Anyhow. Hey, listen to my podcast, Leo Legacy's Rad and Rock. There's a series of like a lot of podcasts. Not a lot, but Rad and Rock is the umbrella term for just subset of different episode types. Um and you know what? Really, the best way to understand it is to experience it yourself. So, leolegacy.com. Thanks for being a friend. Tell a friend. See ya.